You're watching the Samsung Galaxy M31s disassembly. First, we need to remove that SIM tray. Next, you'll need to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive on the back plate. And then you're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's your back plate. It is plastic. There are 14 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, you need to disconnect your fingerprint reader cable. Next, you're gonna take your plastic pry tool and you're gonna place it in between the frame and the back housing. And you're gonna pop off and release the catches around the housing. And then you can remove the back housing. So your back housing itself is plastic as well. Your speaker is also located over here on the back housing. And there are some antenna flex cables located throughout. And your power button and fingerprint reader is located over here. Now we can disconnect the battery cable. And then we can disconnect the rest of the cables. You have one wire cable in the corner, you have to pop off. Let's go ahead and disconnect the front facing camera. There's one Phillips screw holding down the main board. Once that's removed, you can lift up and remove your main board. You can disconnect and remove your cameras by just popping them off. Here's the back side of the board. You have your SIM reader located here, your proximity sensor here. You have a secondary mic located right there. You have some graphite film over here on the back, which helps transfer heat. And you have your two other cameras over here. You can disconnect these by popping them off as well. Now to the charger port board. You have your screen cable located here. You just pop it off. You have one wire cable here, pop that off as well. And then you're left with one Phillips screw over here. Once that Phillips screw is removed, you can lift up and remove your charger port board. So here's your headphone jack, here's your charger port, and on the back side you have your main microphone located here. Now at this point you're pretty much left with the mid frame, your battery, your earpiece speaker located here on top, and your vibrator motor. And your screen is attached to the mid frame, the cable for it is right here. So if you needed to replace your screen, all you need to do is pry your back plate off, remove the screws, remove the back housing, and then at that point you have to disconnect the battery cable, and then you disconnect the cable over here for your screen, and you would heat up the front of the phone to loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen, and then you'd pry your screen off the mid-frame, and then you'd apply your new screen, making sure you run your cable back through the opening over here in the mid-frame, this slit over here and then you reattach your cables and reverse the whole process. Now, if you need to replace the battery, there are no easy pull tabs, so you'd have to remove it the old fashioned way by applying heat to the front of the phone where the screen is, so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the battery. And then you'd use a plastic pry tool to gently try to pry the battery off without warping it too much or damaging it. However, since there are no cables running underneath the battery and the screen cable is located over here, there's no point in me prying the battery off and risking damaging the battery. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip your phone over, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.